When a new car is coming to market, the internet is full of rumors, spy shots, and hearsay, especially when it comes to vehicle performance, specification, and in the case of plug-in cars, overall range. At the moment, two cars are attracting the majority of spy shot attention in the electric car world. One, the Tesla Model 3, will officially begin deliveries at the end of this week. The other, the next generation 2018 Nissan Leaf, will debut on September 5th. To date, Nissan has drip fed us a pretty constant stream of information about the next gen Leaf, ranging from sneak peeks about its design through to little short information videos promoting its new Pro Pilot features and e pedal single pedal driving functionality. Yet we're still getting a lot of our information from the spy shot world, as this little snippet from French EV fan Nicolas Dufresne illustrates. Dufresne, who happened across a camouflage large leaf test mule on his travels at the tail end of last week, and of course took plenty of photographs too, has given permission for me to share them here. So I'm going to do just that. In addition to showing that the next generation leaf has the same double charging inlet arrangement on it as its predecessor, one for high power DC and one for low power AC, the right hand drive pre-production car appears to show a larger slow power inlet than the previous generation, indicating that Nissan could be ditching the J1772 plug-in Europe for the now standardized Type 2 inlet found on most other European EVs. But perhaps the most interesting picture shows the dashboard of the LEAF prototype during charging, in which it shows a range of 265 kilometers clearly alongside the state of charge indication of 99%. That would translate to an imperial range of about 165 miles, leading some to question if Nissan's next generation LEAF won't hit the magic 200 miles per charge and consequently put Nissan behind before it's even started in the current round of electric vehicle range wars. Given the current outgoing Nissan LEAF has an EPA-approved range of 107 miles per charge from a 30 kilowatt hour battery pack. It makes sense to assume that the range on this prototype confirms that Nissan is building a variant of the new LEAF with a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack, but it doesn't mean that it'll be the only version we'll see. You see, for some time now, Nissan has been talking about building a 60 kilowatt hour leaf battery pack. Indeed, we've seen it several times. First, in a promotional video Nissan showcased at a shareholder meeting a year or so ago, and more recently by talking to journalists about its 60 kilowatt hour battery pack development during tours of its various technical facilities around the world. But it's also worth remembering here that unlike some automakers who view their electric cars as compliance cars to meet mandated figures for clean car production, or worse still, high-end luxury halo cars where price is less important than functionality, Nissan has always tried to make its electric cars as affordable as possible in the past. Nissan has tackled this by offering a stripped-down LEAF without the telematics of its more expensive siblings, and in some markets, a choice between a 24 kilowatt hour or 30 kilowatt hour battery pack too. So it follows that Nissan is planning the very same thing for its next generation LEAF. And given that battery packs are the most expensive part of any electric car, it does make sense that Nissan is working on multiple battery packs, something a number of its engineers and executives have alluded to in the past, in order to make the 2018 LEAF as affordable as possible. My take? That the car spotted is a 40 kilowatt hour LEAF, which, while seemingly fitted out with a reasonably premium interior, is a little cheaper than a range-topping LEAF with a larger 60 kilowatt hour battery pack. This would give Nissan the best of both worlds. A headline grabbing 40 kilowatt hour model that will likely undercut both the Chevrolet Bolt EV and the Tesla Model 3, all while keeping some of the other key high tech features we've heard about from Nissan in recent months, as well as a range topping, longer range premium model capable of far further per charge. If there is a choice of battery packs, I also expect it to only be available in some markets. For example, in the US, Nissan hasn't offered a 24 kilowatt hour leaf for some time, but in Europe, where range requirements are less and prices more important, you can still choose between a 24 kilowatt hour or a 30 kilowatt hour first generation leaf when ordering your car. That's it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bar and click the Patreon link at the end of this video if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving.